name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Christos Anesti, Ali Sos Anesti. Christ is risen, truly He is risen. Today is the third Sunday of the holy season of, Pen of Pentecost, this holy season of the holy 50 days. And the church today continues its message or continues its reminder to all of us that Christ is the fulfillment of all our needs. needs. The resurrected Lord is the fulfillment of all our needs. Last Sunday, it reminded us that He is the fulfillment. He is the satisfier of our hunger. He fulfills our hunger. He satisfies our hunger. And today, the church reminds us that He is also the one who satisfies our thirst. And the Lord says to here that He has come to grant us to quench this thirst and to give us this living water that will spring out of us. But if we contemplate on, our, on today's gospel, we find that St. Augustine has a beautiful explanation for some of the verses that we read today, but especially this verse, which is verse 10, where Christ, as he was talking with the Samaritan woman, he asked her for water, and when she said to him, uh, uh, then the woman of Samaritan, how is it that you being a Jew, ask a drink from me, a Samaritan woman, for the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans? Christ answered her and said to her something very significant. He said to her in verse 10, Jesus answered and said to her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is who says to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. This living water, this water that quenches our thirst, our spiritual thirst, is nothing but the Holy Spirit, which is what St. Augustine says to us in one of his um, contemplations on this verse. And in this he says to us that Christ, when he called the Holy Spirit the gift of God, he is saying to us, he said to us in another incident, if anyone thirst let him come to me and drink that he believes on me and here he said out of his belly shall flow, shall flow rivers of living water and then he continued to say and this he spoke of the spirit so if anyone comes after me if anyone comes to me and believes in me he who believes will have this living water and christ himself told us that this living water is the gift of the Holy Spirit. And in today's Gospel, St. Augustine says to us, Christ is telling us exactly that. He said to the woman, if you knew who it is that you are talking to, he would have given you, he has the power to give you that gift of God. He said to her, if you knew the gift of God, if you knew the gift of, if you knew the Holy Spirit, you wouldn't be asking that question. This gift is the Holy Spirit. And this Holy Spirit is the reason and it is the way by which Christ quenches our spiritual needs. He sends us. He was crucified. He was resurrected. He's going to ascend so that he can send us this Holy Spirit. This is the gift of God. And this gift is the gift that Christ came to give humanity because in this gift and through this gift there was that reconciliation there was that rekindling of the relationship between humanity and God and the question comes this gift that God has gifted to us this Holy Spirit how can we utilize it and St. Augustine contemplates on this and says to us, the woman from Samaria resembles the church. Why? The reality is, he says to us, 
she bears a type of the church she comes from strangers for the church was to come from the Gentiles an alien from the race of the Jews in the woman let us hear ourselves and in her acknowledge ourselves and in her give thanks to God for ourselves so this Samaritan woman resembles the church and Christ comes and he says to us that he was no longer hungry because he came to do the will of the Father. And what St. Augustine says to us, his drink was to do the will of him that sent him. That's why when he said, I thirst, give me to drink. What Christ was asking from the church and what Christ is asking from me and from you and what Christ is asking and was asking from the Samaritan woman was to work faith in her and to drink of her faith and transplant her into his own body for his body is the church this is why Christ came this is why Christ gifts us the Holy Spirit this is why Christ incarnated why he died on the cross and why he resurrected from heaven so that he can see his work in us to work our faith in us and to drink from that faith this gift that he is gifting to us is a gift so that from it he can drink and see our faith to transplant us into his body to make us his sons and daughters to make us heirs and joint heirs of his heavenly kingdom and in becoming transplanted into God we become part of his body we become part we become part of the church this is his will and this is the gift that he gifts to us to become one with him he quenches all our needs he satisfies all our needs and he waits to see from us that work of faith it is that work of faith that offers Christ a drink to drink and this is why you see the church today in the Pauline epistle reminds us of this work where St. Paul says to us if you were raised with Christ seek those things which are above where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God if you were raised if you have been transplanted if you've become part of the body of Christ and the body of the church you need to bring about the work of faith to do that you need to seek those things which are above not those things of the earth he says to us set your mind on things above not things on the earth for if for you died and your life is hidden with Christ in God you've been transplanted you are no longer part of the body of this, this world you are now part of the body of Christ and therefore Christ he says to us when Christ who is our life appears then you will also appear with him in glory this is what the church is reminding us and this is what we need to seek we need to seek to appear with Christ in his second coming with glory being transplanted being part of him part of his body and part of his church and to do this St. Paul says to us therefore put to death your members which are on earth put to death your members yes what does he say to us to do stop fornication stop uncleanliness stop passions stop evil desires stop covetousness which is idolatry stop these things because of these things the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience this is how I remove myself I actually take myself out I sever myself out of the body of Christ I actually bring I get a surgeon and I start taking out that transplant I start cutting it I start cutting myself away from the body of Christ and in that I remove his gift and I lose his gift and in losing his gifts my works become works of unrighteousness not works that give a drink to my Lord not works that glorify my God not works that quench the thirst of my father in doing his will may the Lord grant us to experience this everlasting satisfaction from his living water 
which is the Holy Spirit, that we may do His will, that we may give Him and offer Him works of righteousness to glorify His name forever and ever. And glory be to God forever and ever. Amen.